Hey Internet, it's Gunter with Mini Mishaps Games, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Fists and Minds character sheet. If you've been following our videos, then you know that we are launching our own TTRPG, and Fists and Minds is the system, Gatherverse is the play setting, and uh, it's been a blast. And we had our first uh, playtest last week. No spoilers, because we have another one tonight, and I'll do a video on both of them together. Uh, but today we're going to go through, we actually have a basic form for a character sheet. It hasn't been prettied up or brandized or, or polished or anything. Uh, but it has most of the uh, places for the data that we'll need uh, to play. Before we jump in, this is a series, so uh, if any part of this doesn't make sense, go check out the other videos. We Most of the sections of this uh, character sheet will have videos already on that topic. So this will be kind of an overview of just the sheet itself. And then the next video will be how the last two playtests went. And uh, then we'll move into more using the system and actually uh, how the gameplay actually functions. So first in our sheet, top left, it's the name. Every good uh, RPG character deserves a good RPG name. Uh, so that is available there. And then um, just moving from top to bottom and left to right, we have class next, and this is your character's function, their job, their their uh, role in the role-playing game, and their role in society. And and uh, it does not necessarily have to reflect their alignment, because there are several classes that would be considered alignment specific but instead it's a skill set and then their alignment would either uh, they'd be breaking the trope or they would be uh, you know supporting the trope so uh, things like the the ninja shadow aren't generally thought of as having good alignment but it's really just that they're they're sneaky and skillful at martial arts um, etc. So there's a place there for the class. Next we've got the peoples and the people on the chart here is the biology that your character came from. So there's a whole video on, a on the classes and a whole video on the peoples uh, but essentially in other systems this would be the race or the heritage or uh, the lineage those kinds of, of things. Um, and so you've got your um, three big uh, topics across the top of the sheet are your name and then the two aspects that give you abilities and set up your traits, which is next. Uh, the next section in the, the main body, perhaps you could call it, there's two parts and the first is the section of the ten traits. This is fists and minds and those remember fists is your physical traits, flexibility, impact, speed, toughness, skill, and your minds is magic, influence, neuronics, divinity, strategy. There's at least one or two videos on the traits uh, so you can find those in the in the videos as well on the channel. Uh, but it's we put the squares there so that you can you'll be needing to add modifiers for abilities for gear for all anything that would happen plus your class plus your peoples uh, so you'll need to be able to keep notes in those little areas uh, so don't just fill them up with a big number because you'll be you'll be adding to those they'll be growing as your character grows uh, directly under that we have our kind of long form paragraph section for people if they want to write out. You get one class ability and two people's ability. Uh, and the two people's ability if you're, and again, covered this in the previous video, uh, if you're choosing to have a 
uh, mixed parentage, then you would choose one people ability from each of the parents. And if your character is built or conceived or manifested in some other way, you would still be choosing one of each of the other two um, people's abilities. Uh, and then we have our six sort of game function numbers. Uh, and so the first one is move. And this is a static amount of squares that you can move in around. Everybody has five, and then there are uh, peoples and classes and equipment that can change the number of squares that you do in your move. But if you're in battle, the number of squares that your character can move around on the board is uh, five, unless they have something that alters it. And the for the movement, uh, the on a square grid, if you're using uh, a square grid, then the diagonal still counts only as one. So uh, next we have armor, and this is a difficulty rating. And now this is something that has changed a little bit because of the play tests and how we are listing and describing it. So when we talked about difficulty before, we talked about uh, essentially a role being normal, difficult, critically difficult, simple, critically simple. Uh, but instead, we're going to make those into uh, numbers for for ease of use. So your armor here, if it was critically difficult for someone to hit you, your armor would be a plus two uh, or a plus four, depending on how that armor is set up. And that's all kind of confusing now when we're looking at just the sheet, but that will become more clear when we make the... What does this look like in the actual gameplay videos coming soon? After the armor, we've got the damage, and this is the weapon dice that matches your uh, equipped weapon or your uh, any modifiers from a piece of gear that helps your spells or helps your weapons. Uh, so this it will be a a dice number plus any modifiers for many of the other skills, abilities, spells, etc. And next we have keywords, and this is um, things that put your character into how they're targeted for spells and how they're uh, chosen for boons and and how they can do languages. Uh, the keywords there are um, sort of your identifying characteristics beyond the traits, which are your identifying capabilities, I guess would be a better way of saying it. Next, we've got your battle order, and this is something that uh, will be constantly changing, um, but not necessarily uh, the amount. So you can put your modifiers in here if you have... Uh, class or peoples that modify your battle order and then there's also space that you can write down temporary changes like um, from spells and uh, different things and monsters abilities uh, can change the battle order and things like that uh, if you're delaying your actions so that you can jump in front of that uh, that fire spell etc uh, your battle order uh, notes will all be there on the sheet for you. Lastly, we've got health points, and the health points are life points or hit points or um, you know any any they've been described a million ways. This is the number that if it reaches zero, you're considered to be uh, dead or or unconscious or or out of the out of the battle. So that is it now. We will likely have separate sheets because uh, for spells and for equipment, that's it. That's the, that's the sheet. It's meant to be simple. It's meant to be easy to use. If you have questions, please put them in the comments or get a hold of us. And we want you to do playtesting. We will also remember our building these systems with you uh, in real time. So we want to hear about your ideas. If your games are getting to where they're getting playtesting, we want to hear how that's going. Um, 
if there's things that you're using, if there's things that you like, if there's things that you don't like, we want to hear about all of that. So if you like what we're doing, if you like these videos or you like the system, uh, you can support us on Patreon. That'll be linked in the description. Uh, we also have the whole uh, array of social media platforms. Uh, if you want to be involved on the back end, we have a Discord uh, for that. And thank you for your time, for watching, for staying till the end. And we'll see you guys in the playtesting review video. Thanks, Internet.